What's up? Have you ever looked at your to-do list and been like, I feel like we've all been there no matter how organized. You have so many things you need to do, so many things you want to do, and it just all piles up and the overwhelm kicks in. You end up procrastinating because of that overwhelm and end up not doing anything at all because you're busy being overwhelmed. So and it's just not good. Well, in this video, I will show you an organized system in one note that will help you manage all of those tasks and also how to prioritize them and what to do with some of the tasks. I'm also going to be providing a free OneNote template that will help you with this process. The link will be in the description box below as well as the instructions on how you can get that into your OneNote. Now my name is Anna and my channel focuses on planning and life organization through planners, apps and technology. I've helped thousands of people create a minimalistic OneNote planner. So if this kind of content interests you, consider subscribing and hit the bell if you'd like. And let's just jump right into it. So first things first, I'm just gonna put on some grid lines and make the page pink. And now I'm gonna make the tables. So square box here, I just copy and paste them and you'll have four boxes here. Then I put a fifth one underneath, but I make it kind of longer and smaller. And now we add the titles. So these boxes are going to be the time management matrix. And I'm going to show you shortly how to do this as well and how to use these. But I'm just going to change the font and everything. And this is gonna be our either you can call it a brain dump or a brain declutter or brain download anything works but this is gonna be the area for it and now I am going to take the week at a glance table that I have in OneNote in another page for my OneNote digital planner if you don't have a OneNote digital planner then you can just make your own on the spot it's, they're really simple to make. I have a video on that as well. I can link it on the screen. But anyways, so now I'm also going to add another box here. I just copy and pasted it. And this is gonna be the box for, I'm gonna explain further on what these boxes will be for. So just stick around. And I'm also making them a little bigger as well. This is going to be this month and next month. Now the tables are complete. So the next thing, where are you going to get all your tasks? Well, first of all, your brain. That's a good place to start or any place where you've written down tasks. They might be all over the place. They might be on pieces of paper or they might be on some kind of notes app. Just go through all of them. Maybe go through your calendar as well, everything. So you can put it all in one place and then we're gonna organize them. So I'm just mainly getting everything from my head and different apps and pieces of paper, the calendar or any project or any thing you want to achieve or any big project you have you can also put that there or the smaller tasks that you need to do to reach a certain goal any task that you can think of this is just an example sheet for me so i'm putting a lot less tasks than i usually do but usually the list is long but this is just an example so i can show you how to do this Now, so I have written all of my examples in the brain declutter section. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to add 
categories here. So the time management matrix has four boxes. Let me explain what the difference between each of them is. So first of all, we have the important and urgent. They, these are tasks that are kind of in a crisis situation. They're pressing problems and they're deadline driven projects. The way you can think of it is if they're not done, you feel stressed, burnt out, and feeling out of control. The second is important and not urgent. These are tasks with no set deadlines that bring you closer to your goals and they're easy to procrastinate on. These things are relationship building, it's for long-term planning, preventative activities, and personal growth. If you've done them, you're feeling in control, you have a long-term perspective, and you have stronger relationships. The next thing is not important, but urgent. These are tasks that need to be done, but don't require your specific skill. Tasks that are interruptions, either emails, chores, errands. Now, if these are not done, the progress is delayed and deadlines are jeopardized. And these are also tasks that you can give other people to do and yet they don't require a specific skill or your personal attention. And the last thing is not important and not urgent tasks. These are distractions and they can be fine but only in moderation. They waste your time but they're very pleasant activities. You can use these tasks as rewards for completing a habit streak or a goal or something specific, like watching movies, being on social media, and so on. Anything that's scheduled, like doc doctor's appointments, hair appointments, anything like that, you just put those over there. Now, as you can see, I highlighted each category into different colors. You can choose whatever colors you want, but these are the colors I prefer. And we're gonna use the same colors to basically organize all the tasks that we have in our brain declutter section. So we have scheduled events, then we have the important and urgent tasks in pink, then the purple is the important but not urgent, then the blues are chores and everything. And then we're just gonna drag and drop. It's very easy, you have the select tool in OneNote and you can just use that. Next thing I'm going to do is when it comes to urgent and important tasks, aka the ones in pink, we need to get those done as soon as possible. Like I explained before, they're deadline driven. If you don't do them soon, you'll feel stressed out of control and all that. So that means we need to do them as soon as possible. So that's where the week at a glance comes in. I'm just gonna plan them for the week ahead. So I do this on Sundays and then whatever week I have, I will put them over there. Now, when it comes to scheduled events, if you have them the, on the week that's coming up, put them there. If you have them this month, you can put it in the this month box or next month box. Or if it's on, if it's something that's um, months away, then you can, then I would just personally keep it in the time management matrix until the date is coming close. And then you can put it in one of those boxes on the right. And then I'm just gonna also add other tasks on my week at a glance. And a good tip here is to do similar tasks together in one day. Like for example, if you have a lot of tasks that uh, have to do with going outside and doing your errands, then put them on the same day. For example, if you're grocery shopping and you're banking your money, do them on the same day same day then when it comes to the scheduled events i'm also going to add them to my google calendar so i get notifications for them when they're coming up and the yellow the yellow ones i'm going to keep in my time management matrix and i'm just going to use them as rewards so i don't schedule them and basically i you just when using this you just cross things off and at the end of the week you just delete the tasks that you complete it and sometimes we just don't get all of our tasks done that's okay you just don't cross them off and you plan them in for the next week and that's basically how you do it now that is all i have for you today i hope you got some good information tips and tricks out of this video if you did please give it a like share with your friends or family i also have created a playlist called organize your life I will leave it in the end cards and up here if you're interested in watching it. And I will see you next time. Ciao!